All right, so today we have a first look at Cassie Lang. Um, this is 565 uh, SIG 80 gameplay. No recoil masteries, no synergies throughout the entire video. But first I want to go over a quick damage rotation because her rotation is a bit weird. So you want to like utilize her heavy attack because she shrinks down, the opponent misses, and inflicts power stings onto them when you like counter attack with the heavy attack animation. So you want to utilize this and you also want to utilize the pin particles there. So as you can see, we gained one pin particle charge whenever we miss a special attack and you can use it to convert it into a poison which slows the duration of your debuffs. So just keep heavy charging to put on power stings to keep applying the poison and you want to put on a ton as well because it just like makes it easier for them to throw special attacks which you can use to convert into power stings and also when you get to the SP2 you get additional attack rating per power sting and you also get guaranteed crits if the opponent is taunted so you want to make sure the taunt is up when you drop the SP2 and you want to have as many power stings as possible and you can see right there that it does a pretty nice chunk of damage so that was 47 seconds for a 5 star with no synergies or recoil masteries, honestly not too bad in my opinion. Now let's go over some of her utility. So she is buff immune at base, so this is the spite node where, you know, if you have a buff, they gain power, so she just like completely ignores it. So yeah, you know, just some simple immunities there, but honestly, she's a pretty strong utility character because the, the miss mechanic on her heavy attack is just like so overpowered, man. It's such a strong ability. It can let her like bypass the hardest special attack suit like dodge, just a pretty awesome ability there, but her base utility besides that is honestly pretty good. She has immunity to poison, shock, and buffs. She also has power steel immunity when she is awakened, but that's not like too major. And her damage up was pretty nice. Like right there, that big SP2, very satisfying to fire off. It's like literally big. That's that's awesome, man. I just love her animations because, you know, she goes small, then she goes giant. It's just a very fun time playing this character. Um honestly not too stressful once you like understand how to play her because you know the taunt is very like forgiving and her taunt is like very very potent because you can take a lot of damage with the taunt up because the attack reduction is pretty pretty massive um i don't think i show it in this video but whenever you get hit with her you take like no damage pretty much so i accidentally gained too much power so this sv2 doesn't have the taunt active but it's fine the power things will finish them off anyway and yeah not too shabby of a fight um just shows like how good she is with her buff immunity. Though to be honest, there are like a lot of buff immune champs now, so it's not the most uncommon ability, but it's still like kind of niche, so it's it's pretty cool. And speaking of buff immunity, we have this Ebony Maw, and Ebony Maw is of course like notoriously annoying because he puts a Fury buff on you like that you cannot remove by any means, and if he like nullifies it again, you get a massive degen. So yeah, pretty annoying stuff, right? You know, Ebony Maw, notoriously annoying defender. But also, she counters him in a way because she is immune to power steal when she's awakened. So he gets a mission complete whenever he power steals the opponent, and that can just like do a lot of degen damage to you, right? But since she is power steal immune, he can't degen you there because like he can't power steal you at all. So that's like a pretty cool interaction. She counters him in a lot of ways, and honestly, I feel like she's a very solid maw counter. I think she's a good like Mystic Slayer for sure. Um, she just has like a lot of ways to counter mystic characters with her buff immunity, her power stings to like bypass Dr. Doom's resistances, and like Mangog's resistances as well. Like there's a lot of things that she can do that's like very tailor-made to be like a mystic slayer. So yeah, pretty nice stuff there. Um, This fight is pretty slow because you can't really miss Ebony Moss SP1. Like the timing is just very, very bad. And you just like you can't really get a good opening in because it would just like counter and just like punch you in the face so you have to play it really slow so this fight might be a little bit longer than like the rest of the fights in this video but she still gets it done pretty pretty well uh but now we're at max power stings pretty much so we can go for the sp2 now we can put on the poison to pause like the taunt and the power stings so yeah now we seem to build up her her ramp up isn't too bad it's not it's like pretty bad in this fight because like you know we can't really like get the power stings up as active but in like regular fights, it's not that bad, you know? And plus like in more regular fights, like battlegrounds and stuff, you don't need to build up to max power stings anyway. But now we can drop a big SP2 here, some pretty juicy crits. We just barely missed the falter as well. And yeah, that about wraps up that fight. Overall, not too shabby, but a little bit on the long side, but that was just because I had to play around like a lot of nodes. So that was 157, but now let's go over her other immunities so this is a very simple just energy adoption lightning fight she is shock immune so there's like literally nothing to worry about but also notice how wolverine is already heal blocked because i put three points in despair right so she just needs six power stings to like heal block the opponent 
and she gets those immediately like immediately like Within the first two seconds of the fight, she has like six parsing on the opponent. So she can heal block very, very well. I feel like this character just has like a lot going on for her, right? She has buff immunity to counter like Mystic and Mystic Dispersion. She has access to Poison and Shock immunity, which is very, very rare. She also has access to like a taunt to help control power. And you know, that's like a very common science thing nowadays, like a, a good taunt debuff. Additionally, she has access to uh, heal block with Despair which is another common science thing. And then she has pretty nice crits like right here on this SV2, very nice damage. And her power stings is just like another thing that's just like an icing on the cake, right? And lastly, her miss mechanic is just super, super good. So she has like a lot going on. She has some pretty like unique things as well. So I feel like she's just a very like good character. Like she's well-made, well-designed, not really too stressful. Sometimes it's a bit stressful to like keep up her power stings. But besides that, just a very solid and well-made character. So yeah, I'm liking Cassie a lot. I feel like she's gonna be one of my favorite characters going forward. Um, you know, like the last feature champion, which is Baron Zemo, was a bit of a letdown to me, but Cassie is definitely a big upgrade from him. So this fight is Connect Transference, and this is a bit weird because she benefits from it, but she also counters it because she doesn't have to parry that much because of her miss mechanic, right? So she counters it in a way, but also she benefits from it because, you know, more power equals like more power sting damage. So you have to like pick your poison, right? Do you just want to like have more power sting going on or you just want to like counter the node and control their power? So it's pretty cool how she can like pick between like countering the node or benefiting from it. I think that's pretty cool, right? So yeah, like... This character is just like super fun as well. I forgot to mention that. She is so much fun. Also, she gets a big benefit from characters who have like a lot of projectiles on the special attacks because like when you dex them or when you miss them, you get a pin particle charge, which you convert into a poison to like pause your debuffs. So like the more projectiles, the better. Here's a pretty nice SB2 right here, like 75k in total. It's such a satisfying SB2, man, because she just like goes giant mode. So it's just so much fun to fire off. And now we go for an SP1 here to refresh the taunt. So yeah, just a very like practical character. There are some fights where like she's not as practical, but like in fights where you can like dex freely and like dex a special attack or miss it, she becomes a lot more like safe to play in my opinion. So yeah, just a lot of fun with this champion. Definitely, definitely a big win in my book. I cannot wait to see her as a six star, but her featured is quite a while away because the new one just barely dropped. Uh, gonna be a long time to wait for this character but you know what i think it'll be worth it because she is so much fun to play and yeah now we have one more fight this is just like for fun um this is a doctor strange with a power sting node so this has the backlash node where like you get increased power sting damage and it also has that's gonna sting where you have to like have a power sting to do damage so you know like power sting is cassie's thing right so of course she's just gonna be like perfect for this node um there are not too many power sting characters still in the game there's like spider ham Ant-Man, well actually no, Ant-Man not really, Yellow Jacket, but he like isn't the best power sting character. Scorpion, he has like a unique power sting, it's like a, his is like a scorpion sting, right? Because it's like not an actual power sting, it's just like a burst of poison damage or rupture damage or shock damage. So I feel like she is probably one of the strongest power sting characters in the entire game. I think Spider-Ham still has like the number one thing because that is like all of his damage, right? Cassie also has like the big SB2, but Spider-Ham is just purely power sting. But you can see right here, she is just melting Doctor Strange and it's just like a fun, fun fight. But yeah, that's gonna be it for this Cassie showcase. Um, Overall, I really like the character. I feel like she is definitely one of the better releases so far um her damage output is pretty good and her utility is very strong as well the miss mechanic is just like pretty overpowered at times so there's like a lot going on with this character and i feel like she is just a very like well-made champion so yeah let me know your thoughts on cassie lang and that's gonna be it for me